This was the last time a major hurricane hit the United States, Hurricane Wilma in October 2005, which just happened to be the most intense storm in Atlantic history as it propelled towards the Yucatan Peninsula, stalled over there, and then moved towards Florida, striking as a Category 3. That was the year which saw unparalleled activity in the Atlantic before or since. YouTube didn't even exist. The best-selling phone that year was the Nokia 1110. And quite a lot of people weren't even around or were too young to remember this particular storm. Once the big one comes and goes, perhaps one might feel a little bit safer in the knowledge that another one may not come for some time. Or at least, at the very least, they're a little bit more prepared. However, it took an extremely long time for the next one to arrive, and we were watching nervously throughout the years. Once we saw Dean and Felix, two Category 5s in the Caribbean in 2007, and all the while many people suggesting that years like 2005 would become the norm. That didn't quite occur though we did of course see more active seasons in 2010, 11 and 12. There were of course times in the interim where it would appear that a major hurricane may strike the United States at long last. Of course we never want it to occur, but such a gap just seems strange. In 2010, Hurricane Earl approached the United States. Ultimately it missed, of course, but it was once forecast to make a major hurricane landfall or get very near to one. Similarly with Hurricane Irene in 2011, as it was moving through the Bahamas as a Category 3 storm, expecting to strike the Carolinas as a major hurricane. In 2012, the arrival of Sandy provided a much different type of problem, demonstrating to us that it does not take a major hurricane by any means to have a storm retired, with the second highest amount of damages caused ever from a hurricane. And in 2015, Hurricane Joaquin kept us guessing all the while as it stalled through the Bahamas. And finally, in 2016, when Hurricane Matthew was poised to strike Florida as a major hurricane, with the major hurricane force winds ultimately staying just miles offshore. It would take until 2017, 12 years after Wilma of 2005 made landfall in Florida as a Category 3, until Harvey would come along, and strike Texas as a Category 4 storm, the first to strike the United States at Category 4 intensity since 2004, and subsequently ending what became the longest gap between major hurricane landfalls in the contiguous United States in its history, a drought not seen since 1775. As the floods continue in Texas, we'll be giving you the latest updates on Force 13's mediums, and with more live events and recorded updates throughout this week, whenever necessary. And of course we'll be creating a report on this storm after it finally dissipates, with all the real nitty gritty of the information that we want to know about the storm. We'll produce a video of that report on the Force 13 channel in due course. Don't forget, it may be a very short time until the next big one, we just don't know where or when whether we'll have yet another gap in the United States. But I wouldn't count on it. It's the longest gap in nearly three centuries.